Hello, welcome viewers to Elimu TV, whereby you are going to interact, uh, have experience and we learn together. We are going to have our biology form 1 lesson 10. Um, our topic today on our lesson will be the cell, whereby we say that uh, the cell is the basic unit of an organism under the subtopic tissue types in animal cells, so you can rather say that the types um, of tissue D in animals, uh, whereby the tutor will be Mr. Gerard. Thank you. Let us enjoy together. Uh, by the end of the lesson, you should be able to give different types of tissues in animals because there are several of them, but uh, we, are, we should be able to give the different types of tissues that we are going to learn in this lesson. Our first tissue that we are going to observe is the uh, epithelial tissues. Epithelial tissues um, on our diagram, this is um, a, a simple representation of a cuboidal epithelium. This one is a, in the form of a cuboid. Um, as you can see, our epithelial tissues here, it has got the nucleus uh, on the lower side, it has the connective tissues, and uh, on our right side, there is the basement membrane. We still have uh, the cytoplasm. Um, epithelial tissues, these are then a continuous layer of cells for lining and protection of internal and external surfaces. Epithelial tissues is of different types. These epithelial tissues, they are very different types. But in our diagram, uh, we are able to see this just uh, in form of a cuboid. But uh, there are different types like um, the squamous one. We have another one uh, which has got the columna. Whereby our columna here we say it is, uh, is in form of columns. We have also our cuboidal tissues. Whereby cuboidal means the cuboid. So I want, to get, I want you to get that the epithelial tissues they are different types. That is, um, they are, can be columna, whereby they can be uh, in, uh, in form of columns. They can be cuboidal, where, uh, as in our diagram, whereby ours is a cuboid, cuboidal. We also have um, squamous ones. Uh -huh. We have also another tissue known as the skeletal muscles. These are tissues whereby they are normally the um, make up the skeleton unless you are aware that the living organisms are normally made up of the skeletons so the skeleton is made up of these tissues that you are able to see on our diagram uh, these um, skeletal tissues they have uh, blood vessels uh, whereby the blood vessels is the ones that are responsible for transportation of uh, either oxygen food materials waste products and uh, in different parts of the body we also have the Pyramysium, we also have the epimysium, we still have the muscle fibers, which are is made up of connective tissues. We have the fascicles, and um, as you can see, the fascicles is wrapped by the perimysium, and uh, underneath there we have uh, endomysium, um, and normally the endomysium is in between fibers, normally the collagen fibers. Uh, we have the tendons. Normally, the tendons are the ones which are now attached to the bone, which will, will now be able to allow you to, to make some movements. Um, having uh, said that, uh, on a further explanation, we can say that uh, it is a bundle of sheets of uh, elongated cells with the fibers that contract. Its contraction and relaxation brings about movement. That is um, the skeletal muscles. We have other tissues known as the blood tissues. And as you are aware that the blood tissues are made up of uh, several blood tissues, like we have the white blood tissues, we have the white blood, that is the white blood cells, the red blood cells, the lymphocytes. There are several of them. Um, we have the plasma, we have platelets, but these are a combination of all the tissues. And as you are aware that blood tissues, they have got several functions in the body. For example, the white blood tissue, uh, it, it protects us from disease-causing organisms. We have also the red blood cells, whereby the function of the red blood cells, they combine with the um, hemoglobin to form oxyhemoglobin, which is responsible for the transportation of oxygen in the 
body we have uh, plasma or by plasma in the body it is the um it is actually the highest component in the blood plasma it is the highest component in the in the in the blood so we can say in simple terms that uh, this is a fluid containing red blood cells white blood cells and platelets it transports many substances including gases nutrients metabolic waste and protects the body against infection that is the function of the white blood cells our next um, tissue that we are going to look at are the connective tissues and as the name suggests these are tissues which are which are used for connecting because the name is the connecting tissues so no, um, basically these are tissues that are used uh, to connect we have um, we have the elastin fibers which connect to the uh, fibroblast and the, the, the fibroblast they uh, connect to the collagen uh, fibers so these ones they consist of strong fibers that connects other tissues and organs holding them together in position for example an organ like the liver and the lungs and the pancreas and the gall bladder they are all connected together by what we by all these tissues that is the collagen fibers collaboration of the collagen fiber the fibroblast and the elastin fiber Having uh, done and said that, uh, we are going to have an activity whereby you should give the functions of the different types of tissues in animals, as we have already learned. For further reference on the different types of tissues, you can um, refer to KLB, um, Secondary Biology Students Book 1, that is the fourth edition, Nairobi, Kenya Literature. Bureau and also for further um, information on uh, the above lesson, you can um, send us an SMS on the number that is appearing on your screen, or you send us a um, message through our Facebook page at Elimu TV, or you send us an SMS uh, on Twitter, whereby you at Elimu TV underscore Kenya. Welcome much, and let us uh, walk this down together. We shall learn and experience together. Thank you.